You know, Jerry, just because George and I don't see each other anymore, it doesn't mean we shouldn't stay friends. Would you like to come upstairs for some coffee? Oh, no, thanks. I can't drink coffee late at night. It keeps me up. <laughs> yeah. You uh, took me to see one of your shows. <laughs> and? I don't know how to love. <laughs> you hate my earrings, don't you? What are you thinking about? Thinking? Nothing? So, guess who just sold 129 West 81st? You bought this for me? Oh, I knew you cared for me. As, as, as you care for me. Stop it, please. What do you want? I know I can make you happy. Well, this is a great place to sit you got here. It's the best seat in the house. Right next to the kitchen. You didn't commit adultery. I did. <laughs> How are you? Fine. Good and, to see uh, you. This is Kramer. Hello. <laughs> Are your friends as funny as you? But don't you understand what that's implying? No. What? <laughs> I'm gay! I don't hear very well out of this ear, so... You think I was faking? It's not you. It's me. You're giving me the it's not you, it's me routine? Is that your car out there? No, it's, it's his. Oh, nice. You guys are obviously from Manhattan. Uh, I think we have to talk. I think we have a problem. Save the whale, George. For me. He told me not to get involved with you. What? Forget Bozo, George. Bozo's out. He's finished. It's over for Bozo. You know, when I was a kid, I once found a dollar and fifty cents in change at the bottom of a pool. He must have been excited. Yeah. Who are you, George Costanza? I'm the opposite of every guy you've ever met. George, all I did was hand someone a bag. <laughs> oh, are you and your family close? Very close, yes. Almost painfully close. You wouldn't want me to mess up that beautiful face of yours. <laughs> it's definitely. It's definitely doable. <laughs> Oh, shut up. <laughs> Aren't you hungry? I asked Scott to move out. Oh. Oh. How's your life? All right? Yeah. Not bad at all. George? Yeah, hi. It's uh, great to meet you. Likewise. You could drape yourself in velvet for all I care. Well, that was great. Sienna, I love you. Yeah, I know. I heard you the first time. <laughs> yeah. Just confirm. It's hard to believe anyone could be so spontaneously funny. And I'm a little tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, George. You'll just pay a fine and that'll be it. Why did the policeman have to yell at me like that? <laughs> First time we went out, I found you very irritating. I remember seeing you a couple of times. You sort of got stuck in my head. Cause Stanza. I can't have sex. With me or in general? Yes, I beg your order, please. Excuse me, darling. Do I uh, do I detect a Portuguese accent? See him. I guess I'll see you in four days. Yeah. Go out and have a ball with the guys. I'll be waiting right here for you. Of course you will. We need to talk. What? I really think we need to talk. Uh-oh. I don't have to be up in the morning, and I know a great breakfast place right around the corner. I really should get going. My old boyfriend came over late last night, and yada, yada, yada. Anyway, I'm really tired today. What do you say? I guess we could use some food in our lovemaking. <laughs> Hungry? Very. <laughs> George, watch out for those pigeons. Oh, don't get out of the way. You really smell banana? <gasps> George, this is Nina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So why didn't you get undressed, George? <laughs> George is in real trouble! So this is still not over? No. You? No. <laughs> All right. 